We've been busy making progress decommissioning over half of British Columbia's 770 orphan well sites. It's a key step on the path to full restoration. But what is an orphan site? And what is the process of restoring an orphan site? Well, I'm glad you asked. Orphan sites are wells, facilities, pipelines, and associated areas where an oil and gas company is declared bankrupt or cannot be located. Once a site has been designated an orphan, the site is now under the care and control of the Commission. This means we use the industry-funded Orphan Site Reclamation Fund to decommission the site and restore it. We ensure sites are restored in accordance with current standards and that all known contamination risks or other hazards are mitigated. So what is the process of restoring an orphan site? Well, it's a multi-stage approach. The first step is to deactivate the site. This means fluid and gases are removed from pipelines and associated infrastructure. In industry terms, pig and purge lines and drain the equipment. The second step is to plug and seal the well. This is known as abandonment, where the oil or gas reservoirs are sealed off in the well and cement is poured into the well bore itself to plug it. After a well is plugged, the area around the wellhead is excavated, the top of the wellhead is removed, and the well is capped to seal it. For the third step, we're removing and salvaging or disposing of the equipment. The equipment must be safely disconnected, cleaned, and transported for recycling or disposal. Pipelines that have been deactivated are also cut below the ground surface. Once everything is removed, the site is further investigated and samples are collected by an environmental professional to determine whether soil quality and groundwater have been affected. If the investigation from the previous step determines environmental quality has been impacted, soils may be removed or treated to ensure the site is ready for reclamation. We are completing the remediation of any contamination in this step. In the final step, we are redistributing soils and revegetating the site. Natural drainage contours have been restored, organic soils are redistributed, and replanting has occurred. To be certified as restored, a period of monitoring occurs after all of the physical work to ensure the success of revegetation efforts. Only then will a site be issued a certificate of restoration. Well, there you have it. The process of restoring an orphan site. It's a lot of work, but don't just take my word for it. Here's what our commissioner, Paul Jeekins, had to say. Well, the orphan program is overseen by one group of professionals, uh, but it is a whole of commission effort. The entire commission is involved with the orphan program. It's uh, financed, legal, it's our engineers, it's our geologists, it's our you know, hydrologists. It's everyone in the commission is, is working to some degree on the orphan program. You know, part of our program was to make sure that we involve landowners and area residents involve First Nations. I, you know, I think again, it's a, the whole of commission program is a really important facet because we have a lot of specialists and experts working very hard to make sure that all of these sites are brought back to a fully reclaimed site.